their stories, perhaps hypocritical about how, how good he was, is one where this lady wrote him a letter asking for a book of recipes from the Department of Agriculture. A, a woman working in downtown Huntington finished her work in the afternoon, 5 o'clock, whenever it was, and went over and dropped into the mailbox of the old post office, which was on Fifth Avenue, uh, a request for a cookbook. Now, it just so happened that within minutes of that, postal people cleaned out that inbox, and the congressman's mailbox was right close by, and they just shuttled over to his mailbox the request. Well, he's in the district, so he goes in, he gets the letter out. Well, he looks at it, and this lady wants this cookbook. Well, he happens to have one out in the Jeep. He had a stack of them in the back of the red Jeep. So he drove to the west end of Huntington to the woman's address. So he takes off, goes out to her address out in Wayne County, and is standing on her porch when she gets back from mailing the letter asking for the cookbook. She, meanwhile, gets on a bus and goes home for the evening. She gets inside, closes the door, Heckler walks up, knocks on the door, she opens it, and he says, I'm your servant in Congress, Ken Heckler, here's your cookbook. He practiced what he preached. He truly represented all the people in his district and tried to meet every one of them, I think. Personally, I wish the man would get a decent car. <laughs> that Jeep. <laughs> that, I've always thought, attracted everybody. When you become so identified with a car that anywhere in the state everyone knows that's your car, that's a positive. He was a master public relations person, really, as much as he was a congressman. Every time he was in from Washington, he would make the rounds of the television stations and the newspapers and offer them stories they couldn't refuse. If you want to get something in the paper, you go and try to get it in on Sunday because they don't have anything for Monday. Nothing's happening on Sunday. Everybody's going to church, they've gone out to dinner, and now they're sitting around reading the paper and taking it easy. So he would come in and beat out a little story on a typewriter and hand it to us. Here we are again by the map of the state of West Virginia. To talk Ken Heckler made frequent and effective use of the U.S. House of Representatives recording studios. Ken understood mass media. He understood mass media's need to satisfy an audience. Now this bill will help protect. He looked at every issue in terms of how do my constituents react to this and what will interest them. Is there any experience in other sections of what kinds of work will it do? How big will it be? How important? Where do we go from here? How do you determine? Is there anything particular that you could say encouraging in the when you come right down to it, a good deal of the work and focus of a congressman is educating the voters to decide what is the best and just thing to do and then to continue to educate your constituents to support those aims of justice. This project is a cooperative production of the Ken Heckler Documentary Project, LLC, and Marshall University, being presented with financial assistance from the West Virginia Humanities Council, a state affiliate of the National Endowment for the Humanities. Any views, findings, conclusions, or recommendations expressed in this program do not necessarily represent those of the National Endowment for the Humanities.